Hi everyone, in this video we'll have a look at another security issue in Deva called as hard coding issues using JNI that is Java Native Interface. So before I talk about this issue, first of all we'll have a look at JNI that is Java Native Interface. So if you don't know about JNI, so Java Native Interface is actually a programming framework which enables Java code that is running inside JVM to make a contact with other code that is written in different programming language. Just for example, in your application, if there is a Java code and you want to interact that Java code with another code, uh, that code might be written in C language. So what we can do with the help of Java native interface, we can actually make our C language code to interact with the Java code in Java virtual machine. So you can see here that other programming languages like C, C++, C hash can also interact with the Java code that is running inside Java virtual machine with the help of Java native interface. Or we can say that Java native interface is just like a middleman or an interface so which makes our other programming language code to interact with the Java code. So this is how JNI works. Now let's talk about JNI hard coding issue in Deva. So you can see here, here is our Deva application. So this issue, JNI hard coding issue in Deva is actually named as hard coding issues part two. So in this issue, our objective is that we have to find out the vendor key, which is actually hard coded in the source code of this Deva application. So as the name suggests, JNI hard coding issues. So this gives us an idea that our vendor key might be present in some third party libraries rather than in the Java source code. So we will figure out that where this vendor key is actually present in our Deva application in our system. Now let's have a look at hard coding issues part two. So you can see here that my Jenny motion is up and running. So let me open Deva. And if I scroll down here, you can find one issue called as hard coding issues part two. So let me open that up. So this issue is same like the previous one where we have to find out the vendor key, which is actually present inside the source code of this application. So you can see the objective, it's same that we have to find out that what is the vendor key and where it's hard coded. So first of all, what we're going to do here is we'll go inside the Sentuku VM operating system and then we will analyze the source code of this particular issue. So you can see here that right now I'm inside my shell. So let's go inside bin deva and here you can see the package name. So let's go inside that. And here you can see one file called as hardcode2activity.java which actually contains source code of that particular issue. Now let's analyze this file. So you can see here the entire source code of this file. So let's start analyzing this file. So here you can see a diva JNI or a simple JNI. So what it means if you are an Android developer or if you don't know about JNI, so what JNI is, so JNI stands for Java Native Interface. So with the help of JNI, what happen is if your application contain source code of different language and that source code or that language want to interact with the Java environment, then with the help of JNI, what we can do, we can make C language code to interact with Java source code with the help of this JNI. So this gives us a rough idea that there might be some external language code which might be used in this particular challenge. So you can see here a function called as access. So what this function is doing, you can see here. So here is a if statement. So this function is actually picking up a text which is present inside a, another source code and it's placing over here and then it's comparing here and uh, according to that it gave us an access or not. Now what we have to do is we have to find out the source code or the that file which is actually written in different language so that we can find out the hard coded string. So let's go back. So what happen is if your application contains source code rather than Java source code so any source code which is present inside the lib directory in that package. So first of all, we'll go inside ADB shell. And you can see here that right now I'm inside shell of Jenny motion. So let's go inside data slash data followed by jaka.aseam.deva. That's the package name. 
So you can see here one directory called as lib and this is a directory which contains the source code of the different language or the native source code. Now let's go inside libs directory and here you will find one file called as lib divajni.so file. Now what we have to do is we have to analyze this file. So if you try to look at the content in this file we will be able to see nothing because this file is actually compiled. But what else we can do? We can even use strings command in order to list out strings which is present inside this file. Then we can check that the strings which are listed by this file is our vendor ID or not. It's a little complex or time consuming task. So now let's do that. So just write here strings followed by the file name that is lib diva jni.so and let me pipe it to less hit enter and you will see here that these are the strings which are present inside this file. So now let's start analyzing from the top. So you can see here finalize. So by just looking at these strings this doesn't give us an idea that uh, this not might be an vendor key. So we have to find out something unique which might be a vendor key like this. So now let's open our Jenny motion. Let's go to that issue, hard coding issues part 2 and let's try to add here the same key and check that whether it's a vendor key or not. Okay, access denied. So what if this? This might be a vendor key, this looks like that. So let's try to add that. Okay, still access denied. So what about this? Let's try to use this one. Okay, so now here if I click on access you will see the access granted see you on another side which means this is the string which is actually hard coded in this particular file that is lib diva gni.so and our application is actually picking this string from that file and doing a comparison check. So this is how our developers actually stores something sensitive information in another files which might present inside the lib directory and then the application uses that files from lib directory. Now what else we can do? Here you can see that right now I am at the main repository of this device android at the github so you can see the entire source code of this application so what else we can do we can even find out the proper code that the proper source code of this particular diva jni so uh, let's go here on app let's go now source click on main let's go inside jni here is the java native interface directory let's go inside that and here you will find one file called as divajni.c so this code is actually written in a C language and with the help of Java native interface this code can interact with the Java environment and whatever application is doing our application is actually picking the vendor key which is listed inside the source code and just doing a validation check on vendor key so here you can see that inside that source code here a one thing is made constant that is vendor key. So in this video we talked about that what is hard coded issues and how we can exploit hard coded issues part 2 and deva. So thanks for watching this video.